Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on the best and original eyeshadow palette packaging of 2019. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm really excited to do this video. I thought that it would be fun to do. I did one back in 2018. I think it was or was it 2017 either way I'll link it up above just in case you're interested and of course all of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to talk about are the ones that I have in my collection and of course the ones that I was able to pick up that I was able to afford you know how it is and yes I know I should be over this obsession over packaging but I do believe that that is how a lot of these makeup companies get us to to fall into all of the ignorance. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so the first one that I have is by Smashbox, and this is the Cover Shot Crystallized Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the one that kinda has like the little diamond-y like reflex to it. I thought this was super cute. So this is one of the reasons why I got this little baby. The next one is by Kesha Rose, and this is a relatively you, uh, new release and I think this packaging is super unique. Um, her name is actually printed out in like a velvet color um, or a velvet type of type style. And all of this is in raised print right here. And here, as you can see, there's a little tassel on the, um, I guess hanging from the palette. And another thing that makes this palette really unique, of course it does have a mirror, is this little attachment right here in the middle is secured by a fabric. So you know how over time a cardboard or a paper it will wear or and tear and things like that, that does have a fabric in the middle. middle. And I do like the way the eyeshadow are arranged, but this definitely falls under the most unique it might not be the prettiest, uh, but it's definitely the most unique in my collection. All right, next are the eyeshadow palettes by Kaleidos. And I think that these fall under, I think that they are pretty, but I think that they are unique as well because of the way they actually open. They kind of fold like a, um, like an envelope, if you will. And they open up as such and they have a little mirror right here. And all of the color stories that are actually in the palette, they match the outside packaging. So I think that all of these are really unique in that regard. Even how slim the packaging is, I think that these just really are unique. All right, next on my list are these two eyeshadow palettes by Melt Cosmetics, and I think that this is both unique and pretty. Uh, unique in the regard of how these two eyeshadow palettes are magnetic and they stick together. I also like how all of the print is raised. And this one would be the More Air and this one would be the Vita palette and I really think that everybody would have to agree that this is both unique and pretty at the same time. All right, so this next palette is by Norvina, and this is volume three. Now, I don't think that this um, packaging is per se all that unique, but I do think that it is pretty, and it is one of the prettier palettes in my collection. And a lot of that has to do with the orange background and how she has the gold metallic butterflies flying all around. It's just really cute, and I had to add it to the list. All right, so these next eyeshadow palettes, while they are not cute, I think that they would fall under the unique category. And these would be the new eyeshadow palettes by Fenty. And the reason that I say that they're new unique is because these are the first eyeshadow palettes that I've ever seen that actually snap together. So the idea of it is you kind of pick two that you like or that you would like to pair together and then you snap them together like so. And then they open up like that. Really, really unique and, and overall, I just think that a lot of the makeup that comes out of Rihanna's brand really kind of kills it as far as the uniqueness or either how pretty it is. All right, so this next one is a foiled eyeshadow palette as well as a highlighter. I don't necessarily know how unique it is, but it 
is very cute and it just simply has glitter on it that's it that that's all that's to it anything that has glitter um in it or on it pretty much has my vote and as you can see it just kind of floats around all right there is, is a good picture of it but anyway definitely made the list all right so this next one is the jackie Ina collab and here it is and i think that this falls under the category of uniqueness i personally have never seen a eyeshadow palette with a what is this snake skin or crocodile embossed it's one of the two or the faux uh, snake skin or the faux crocodile. Well, I guess that's snake skin. Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's really unique in that regard. And I also like how it has that duochrome type of effect going on. So anyway, this one definitely falls into the category. All right, so I have another melt eyeshadow palette and this one falls under the category, I think, of uniqueness. I don't necessarily know how functional it is, but this is the Impulse palette and it is very big and bulky, not very pretty. In fact, Act. It is kind of leaning on the unattractive side, but it is unique in that that each palette or each side kind of has stair steppers. It's kind of made in stair steps, okay? And then when you fold it, it pieces together like a puzzle kind of like. It is, again, it is bulky and kind of cumbersome. And each time you use it, you have to make sure that these little flaps are back in place because you really don't want the metallic shades kind of contaminating the matte shadows. But I think as far as uniqueness goes and something that's different, definitely this one. All right, so please don't side eye me when I show you all this one, but this one is the Zodiac BH Cosmetic Palette. And I would rank this palette under uniqueness. It's definitely something that's different this one is the second release of the Zodiac type of design. Um, they actually have a third one that's out and I need to go on Ulta and see how that one looks. But either way, I think that this one is definitely different. You really don't see a lot of eyeshadow palettes with this type of design. You know, they also have the little minis that are like this as well. It is somewhat cute, but I think that it just mostly falls under the category of something that's different and unique. All right. And so the next one that I have is by Lunar Beauty and this is the Moon Spell. Um, I think that this palette is on the unique side. I really like how the eyeshadow palette kind of opens up like a book and you can really put it on a bookshelf and it looks like it's actually a book sitting in the bookshelf. And once you pull the eyeshadow palette out, it actually looks like a book that actually locks, kind of like a diary. Do you all remember those little diaries we used to have as little girls? And when you look at it from the side, it all looks like, you know, a book. So in that regard, I think that it is unique. I think the only other eyeshadow um, palette that comes um, uh, similar to this is Storybook. The only thing is um, those eyeshadow palettes are really thick but this one is kind of like the average size of an eyeshadow palette but either way I really thought it was unique and I liked it and the last one that I have on the list is the collab with Barbie they collabed with Pier or Pier and Barbie did a collab and I really like it because it has the little crush rocks and they're actually glued in so it's not like when you touch it any type of glitter or anything anything like that comes apart. But anyway, just really, really cute. So anyway, that's short and sweet. Just wanted to pop in and just kind of talk about some eyeshadow palettes that I thought were pretty back in 2019, as well as original. Let me know, did I miss any eyeshadow palettes? Can you name any eyeshadow palettes that were extremely cute or original that released back in 2019? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches. Thank <laughs> you.